Well, let's look at emotional intelligence and how it impacts leadership skills. So if we said this over here was our leadership performance. What are the key factors that are going to influence our leadership performance? Well, there's a number of them that we need to look at. The first one we need to look at is the fact that we need to be self-aware. And what do we mean by that? Well, if we've just had a fight with our loved one or we've just been given a parking ticket and we have to come into the office and deal with a disciplinary issue or reprimanding a person, would our behavior be completely different whether we just had a lovely, delightful drive into the office with no traffic hassles and nobody upsetting us? And, and what we need to understand is that in our brain, we cannot build walls around emotion. Emotional things that happened prior to us getting there are going to affect the way we behave. The next one we need to look at is our self-management. Are we able to control our own emotions when things go wrong in the business? If we've just had our worst, best customer cancel a massive order on it, is it going to affect the way we manage our team? And the factors that really drive us there are self-confidence, our ability to be reliant on ourselves, and that is to believe in ourselves and then show self-control. So when things go wrong, do our team see it and do they understand what's going on or do they think, oh, there they are, the boss has gone off on one again and it becomes inconsistent in the way we manage our team. The next one we need to look at is our social skills. And many of us might be standing there right now thinking, what the hell have my social skills got to do with being a leader? Well, the big things about it is, in business, you can only lead people. You cannot lead a task. You can't lead a job. So how you interact with people is absolutely crucial. And the key thing in social skills is our ability to build relationships. Then at the bottom here, we need to think about adaptability. And what we mean by that is when things go wrong and we need to find plan B, which often happens in business, how flexible can we be? When we're facing with challenges, can we remain optimistic in front of our team and keep them driving forward towards the goal? And more importantly, do we have a good work-life balance? Because if we as the leaders don't have a good work-life balance, it will come across in the way we interact with our team and often that will result in them not believing what we're saying and then standing there looking at you as a leader going, I don't want a lifestyle like that, so why should I do what he or she is doing? And finally, we need to be social aware. And what I mean by socially aware is that good old word empathy. And in leadership, empathy is one of the most common words that is misunderstood. We don't mean sympathy. The best way to describe empathy is if we were looking at a large football and we're standing in front of us. Sympathy is how we see the football. Empathy is how our team see the football. What picture are they seeing? So empathy is about understanding the viewpoint of others and aligning it with our goals so that they get an input. All of these have a major impact on your leadership performance.